What's up? How are you guys? We've made it another week here at Frank East Range Meat, but I am ready to retire. So we're gonna do a, a quick vlog today, I guess. Not too much going on. And uh, it is Sunday afternoon. My guys are actually here. So I'm not here by myself. They're working a little late today, just finishing up some stuff. Uh, so I'll show you guys what's up. I'll show you guys a few products back in stock and uh, maybe a new thing or two will pop up that I forgot. Everything is in stock on the Foods website. We got the dark chocolate and white chocolate to Tomy's Cookies bars. We got plenty of pemmican, plain pemmican, meat granola. Uh, running a little low on the quinoa crisp, but we have all the best bars. Plenty of granola bars too. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the granola bars. Yeah, we got everything guys. We got the biltong, we got the raw honeys, we got the beef sticks. Running a little low on jerky, might have to get some more of that. All the fats are in stock. Iberical pork lard, marrow oil, beef tallow. Maybe the labels will come for the big one this week and we'll have the big beef tallow available. We got the plain sea salt, the mountain salt. Yeah, we did that oatmeal recipe Saturday. These are the, the quick oats that we have available for you guys if you want to do that. We even got some uh, vanilla extract here. I think we ran out of uh, vanilla powder though. This is the colatura, the, the fish sauce that we just got in new last week as well. And then back here in the back, we just have that liver detox smoothie that was in the oatmeal for you guys. This is on organsupplements.com. Yeah, we sent out an email last week from Organ Supplements talking about the new multi-mineral, the new multivitamin, as well as the magnesium and zinc complex. I won't talk about that too much. You guys can go on the website and read more about all the products if you guys are interested. We'll just look in the fridge real quick in the freezer. Okay, so I feel like deja vu, but as always, our fresh dairy is ready to ship out. We got the milk, we got the kefir, we got sheep milk, and we got sheep kefir. Uh, this is new this week. Uh, we used to sell sheep kefir, farmer ran out, but now we have some back in stock, so hopefully uh, the sheep milk and sheep kefir products are gonna continue to increase. All the dairy is available, guys. You know, fresh, raw, local Amish dairy section on the website. All different types of stuff, from butter to cream to cheese curds to cheese dip, a lot of different stuff. This is the sauerkraut and jardiniera on the foods website. And we got some ginger lemon water keeper in stock. Uh, what is definitely new is we have ground veal. It's gonna be a veal, <laughs> a veal-able. <laughs> oh, my brain is so fried today. You guys have no idea. The ground veal is now available as well as some veal steaks and uh, veal ribeye steaks and veal porterhouse steaks. It's gonna be in the veal share, available on the website. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a special product. I think it's gonna be $12 per pound because we paid so much for it. But we got plenty of fresh ground veal. Uh, this is the fresh local ground beef that we get in every week. You guys aren't too enthusiastic about this, so I'm not sure if we're gonna keep doing it. But we also have the, the fresh steaks available. So we got some fresh porterhouse steaks and some fresh ribeye steaks. These are a little smaller, so instead of getting two, if you buy the fresh beef share, you'll get three. So if you guys want the fresh beef share, if you place an order by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll get all this shipped out fresh, as well as the, the fresh ground beef. Just make sure to put in that you want fresh, never frozen shipping. Uh, what we're doing differently is uh, we put some parchment paper between the slices of prosciutto and we sliced it a little thinner. Uh, so I, I try my best for you guys. This is how, kind of crazy, but this is how the prosciutto is going to come now. It's, it's parchment paper between each slice so they don't stick together. And we, and we got it as thin as the machine can get it. I might have to buy a new, uh, might have to buy a new uh, deli slicer to get it thinner, but for now it's fine. That's just some scraps. Same thing with the uh, Iberico ham. So we got pieces of parchment paper between every slice so they're not stuck together. And uh, we slice it as thin as we can get it. So if you, got, if you guys email me about this, you know, um, if you want a free sample with your next order, just let me know if you weren't happy with it. But uh, this is as good as we're gonna get it for now, I think. So Iberico ham, prosciutto San Daniel. Try my best. Running kind of low on eggs. Uh, hopefully we get the duck eggs in a week or two because not acceptable. Yeah, I gotta bring home some of this uh, jardiniera to try for myself. I was trying the pickles and they're a little soft. 
a little over fermented. Uh, so next batch, we're definitely going to make sure to, to do a, a much shorter ferment, try to keep the pickles crispy. Uh, I still can't figure out if uh, if the, the whether they're cut or not really matters. I think what matters is the if you uh, ferment them for longer than like a week and a half, maybe they just get too soft. So here in the freezer, I don't really think uh, we have too much new stuff. We just we just did a lot of reorganizing everything. Uh, we got plenty of beef, bacon, plenty of pet food, only $5 a pound. We got whole beef belly slabs back in stock. Uh, plenty of organ grind available. These are the Wagyu burgers. I showed you guys these last week. Very affordable per pound. It's only like $8.50. Those are some goat testicles. We have way too many of those. A lot of beef tendons and the beef tripe, beef stomach is back in stock. I think we're completely sold out of chicken though. So I, I think the chicken's gonna be back the first week of April. So you guys might have to wait a little while for that. Main thing over here is we got plenty of lamb in for Easter. So we got the, the bone and legs of lamb, which are a little bigger. And we have these really nice, cute, three pound boneless legs. I'll probably do a, a few videos, a recipe or two on these. And although we don't have chicken, we do have turkey available. So if you guys want like turkey wings, nice turkey drumsticks, we got turkey thighs available and the whole turkeys. I think we're running low on turkey breast, but everything else we have plenty of. This is just uh, a lot of goat testicles. These are, these are the cheapest testicles we have on the website. They're like $7 a pound. We're running a little low on ice cream, strawberry, chocolate, honey, vanilla. Yeah, that's pretty much it. A uh, few changes here and there, a few new things. Uh, I could show you guys the, I'll show you guys the new equipment after we read the reviews, because my guys are still in there, but I think they're leaving now. Uh, kitchen equipment's not completely set up yet, but uh, we're, getting, we're getting close, so hopefully we can do some new stuff very soon. Yeah, I gotta get home and eat something, and uh, I gotta update the inventory on the website and, and answer a lot of emails. Well, we're gonna read you guys some reviews, and uh, and then we'll go in and show you guys the kitchen equipment. I think I showed you last week or the week before. I don't remember. I feel like I'm in a fucking prison of my creativity. All those fucking products, and I'm still broke. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Not too many reviews. Five star review for the pasture raised soup stewing chicken. So good. Braised stovetop flavor is unmatched. 10 out of 10. I think I enjoy it more than regular chicken. Uh, we've sold pretty much all of the, the hen chickens from the egg farmer. I, I had to reduce the price so much. I'm, I'd be surprised if we broke even, but we're, we're almost out of all of it. We've sold, uh, we've sold uh, all the breasts ground up. We have some thigh meat ground up that's still left. Uh, the soup chickens, I think there's maybe 50 or 100 left, so those should be sold out in a month or two. And uh, we still have plenty of wings, which we're using for the uh, the chicken stew, chicken soup with the meat in it. And we're not going to have the soup chickens back until next year, so you know, they'll be gone for a while after uh, after we, we sell out. So if you guys want very affordable soup stewing chicken, it's only like, I think they're only like $12 each, which is ridiculous for corn and soy free chicken because... Anyone else online is selling it for three times the price. Uh, five star review for the organ grind. Grass fed ground beef with organs. Really, really good blend. This is the perfect blend. It predominantly tastes like ground beef with a little bit of organ flavor as an aftertaste. If that's not something you like, the aftertaste can almost entirely mitigated by adding in some garlic and salt. I only ordered one package so I could sample it first before loading up my freezer. Now I'm anxiously waiting a restock. I legitimately would eat this daily for the health benefits and natural flavor. Uh, we got a five-star view for the water key for grains. <laughs> this is on the foods website, Frankie's Range Foods. I ate them. Now I got to order more because I had to find each <laughs> cholesterol. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but it's not really a review. Uh, we got a five-star review for the pasture-raised Iberico pork sausage. The quality is unbelievable. Immediately had to order more yet. Really special stuff. I'm glad we're able to offer all the Iberico pork for you guys because it's... Um, I mean, the local pork share that we have is like all really high quality stuff and it's very affordable, but compared to the Iberico pork, it's like, there's a reason it's uh, most famous pork.
Oh, I was. I didn't really want to read this, but uh, someone placed like a twenty dollar order, and we canceled it because we have a hundred dollar minimum, and they sent me an email. Great. I have to wait three days to get my money. You're absolute trash, garbage, fucking shit, and everyone's going to know it. <laughs> After everything I went through, you owe me. Or I can tell everyone that you hit my car and refused to fix it. Where milk cost me $3,000 if you can't tell. I don't quit. You owe 18... I don't know. Someone's, this lady is fucking... Psych meds or something. Very funny. Uh, Five-star review for the 8282 Raw Cottage Cheese. Add some raw honey to it. So good. Such a delicious cottage cheese. Definitely different, drier than store-bought. After eating a tub, I can confirm that I prefer it this way. Once I added a bit of raw honey, it became the best snack and breakfast choice in my kitchen. Highly recommend. Yeah, honey's also really good in the in the yogurt. Five-star review for the grass-fed marrow oil. This stuff is amazing. Way better than any tallow bought in stores. This stuff is like carnivore crack right out the jar. I ate the whole thing in two days. I'm going to have to get some bulk marrow next time and have this as a treat. Not too expensive for the caloric density. Five star view for the pasture raised chicken eggs. Frankie's awesome eggs. Wow, I didn't know what to expect in the way of packaging these eggs to make them ship so well, but it's the most perfect packaging of a product that's ever been delivered to me. And the eggs are so clean and uniform in size as I write this review. I have just finished enjoying the best ever egg salad sandwich. Knowing that the eggs are free of corn and soy makes them that much more delicious. Consider me a new customer and number one fan. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like the eggs a lot. Another review for the chicken eggs. High quality. I compare these eggs to the store-bought pasture-raised eggs, and there's a huge difference. The shell is way firmer and comparable to duck eggs. The yolk is very dark, almost orange, and the egg white itself looks completely different. The taste was rich and delicious. Most people think eggs are eggs because they never had true quality eggs. Highly recommend you, yeah. uh, because you guys order order consistently from us. We're able to offer like really, really fresh eggs. And the freshness of the egg also makes a really big difference in the quality. You know, it's not sitting around in a truck for two or three weeks and then in your supermarket for two or three weeks before you get them. These are literally eggs from the day or two before, and then we ship them out. So you're getting them within a week of the eggs being laid, which is as fresh as you can get them for the most part. Another review for the water kefir grains. Back into fermenting. The grains are making top-notch water kefir. First batch was a little slow to start. But then I threw a pinch of salt in, and bam, no looking back. Do you find diversifying the mineralization method periodically to be helpful for the grains? Working towards growing the little guys to make five-gallon batches for the entire family? God bless Frank, thank you. I mean, you might have to add more minerals, but it depends on also, like, the mineral content of the water you're using. Uh, last review, five-star for the Gouda cheese. Do Gouda, this cheese tastes so good and it is so creamy. Some of the best Gouda I've ever had. <laughs> it's funny, because you guys, we used to sell, like, a lot of Gouda. And then you guys just stopped buying it, which was weird. Like, we used to sell so much of it, and then no one bought it anymore. All right, let's go show you guys real quick the, the kitchen equipment. So we got the big meat grinder here. We got to run a three-phase line for it. Uh, this is the steam kettle. We got the water hooked up, and we got the gas line here, too. We got uh, three gas lines here. Two for these burners, which are good to go. Kind of like jet engines. I'll have to show you guys these when we, we get them running. Um, so we got the gas ran. We got the water line ran for the steam kettle. And then we're just going to have to run the electric for that grinder and then the electric for, uh, for this tilt skillet. So hopefully in a week or two, uh, we got everything set up. But um, this is operational now. So everything here is set up. The hood's running, we got the filters in. This turns the lights and the and the fan on. So, you know, instead of instead of using that fan for ventilation, this is a much larger, huge fan, giant fan on the roof here. And we got all the steel on the wall. It's been taking a while to get this stuff set up, but it's not necessarily like equipment we needed to make new stuff. It was just to to make our current stuff efficiently because we're having too much inconsistency with uh, different batches and I was just I was losing so much money like if they mess up if me they mess up the soup once I'm out two thousand dollars so uh, it's not worth it using the electric burners that aren't that efficient yeah that's it for this week guys uh, nothing too crazy just a few new things a few restocks I'll be sure to put that 
uh, veal on the website for you guys if you want to try the veal out. If you want to order the fresh beef, we'll get the fresh beef in. And then maybe we'll have some new stuff next week. We'll see. Hopefully some new ice cream flavors and a few new things for you guys to try out. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's free liverwurst with every order this week, but we're almost out. So everyone that placed an order like through today, Sunday, is going to get a free liverwurst. And then I'll try to get some more next weekend. But we might give away the scrapple next week, although I know you guys don't like that as much because there's some grains in it. But uh, that should be it. So if you guys go to frank you will see all of my interesting businesses. Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frank, uh, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, all that stuff. If you guys want to just take a few minutes, check everything out, see if, uh, see if you need anything. But I'll see you guys for the next video, I guess.